Larry. Yeah, what? It's time to talk about Star Trek. Oh, no. Deep Space Nine. Crossroads oh, of Time. Oh, this thing. All right, well, have fun. <laughs> Have fun moving platforms around I, and jumping with Cisco. I oh, I mean, it's hard not to have fun jumping around with Cisco. Uh, I've never played this. I have no idea what kind of game this even is. I just like Deep Space Nine. It's a uh, side-scrolling puzzle platformer. Oh, that doesn't. An adventure game would probably be a good way to do, like, a Deep Space Nine game, not a puzzle platformer. It would, like that uh, that original series Star Trek game. Yeah. That's an adventure game that's pretty alright. Oh, already we're getting some Odo. Look at that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Little tiny Odo in the corner. <laughs> that's him. Looking like the guy from Beetlejuice. The shrunken head. Uh, uh, that's right. No, I my way. pause again. Oh is man, it, this is the Genesis version. Yeah, this music is I way, think. way too excitable for DS9. But look at his run. It is yeah, that's a good. He's run. got a good jump. Yeah. Check out the jump. It won't let me jump. Oh, there we go. What? <laughs> I really like Cisco's power jump. Uh, this like the moving jump is better. Stop talking to Odo. Gear on the promenade. Not a visitor, she self. Mm -hmm. You can go to Quark's Bar, too. Oh, I'm totally going to Quark's Bar. Get smashed at Quark's Bar, lose all my latinum. Yeah. Good luck finding it. There's no map in this game. I think they did a good job uh, capturing uh, her gigantic shoulder pads, by the way. Just broad, yeah. strong stature. Is that Miles O'Brien? Yes! That is unrecognizable <laughs> as Colmini. Yeah. It, that looks more like Tuvok than yeah, O'Brien. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Where's the door? There it is. Oh, God, Jake. Don't make me talk to Jake. No, I don't, I don't think you have to talk to any of these people. I want to hit my son. I am very interested to see if you will be able to get past, like, the first major, like, obstacle in this game, because that's as far as I got. This game does let me, uh, somewhat fulfill my desire to punch Jake. It says go directly in the mouth, so this is, this is okay. Cisco's got good form, though, which you would expect. Oh. I mean, you see him, like, working on the heavy bag in the show. You got a Cardassian on the, on the ship. All right. Or on the station. Not a ship. Famously not a ship. Correct. Did you do the running jump, by the way? Oh, not yet. It's Dax, and uh, I'm glad that I did not open my mouth and say that that was uh, Bashir, because that's what I thought it was when I ran behind her. Oh, man. Cisco. Yeah, graceful like a swan. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Never had the makings of a varsity athlete. <laughs> yeah, shit, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, Alright, jump past Jake. It's my speedrunning strategy. <laughs> I like how you keep going to the end of the screen and then just turning uh, back. Oh, come on, let me go back down the stairs. He had a really good running animation on those stairs, too. Yeah. Okay, am I able to go into these? No. You not go back down the stairs? It wasn't letting me. I may just not be like uh, properly aligned with it though. So, uh. all right, let's try these. All right, there we go. I just really love that Cisco jumps like a howler monkey, like <laughs> trying to latch onto someone's face. <laughs> just like he'd be going, "Oh he!" Hell yeah! Oh yeah, you gotta be. Uh... Careful watching me at work. All my anti cardassian slurs. Before you know it, I'll be over here calling people spoonheads. Bib Fortuna? Derek would never say that. 
I don't eat clothes today. I'm gonna take them all off and run around the station, Garrick. Okay, I... I have no idea where to go. I think you have to go to the outer ring. Oh, oh. another time. Okay. I'd, uh... uh about to bib Fortuna here. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, that's a Klingon. Okay. That didn't even register to me oh. as a Klingon. Okay. Yes, I understand some Klingonese. I'm just uh, going to hit up in front of everything. Oh, there we go. Photo's office. Max says he might get fired for watching this while at work, but doesn't care. <laughs> There's your boy. Yeah. Rene Abattoir. <laughs> That's how you say it. <laughs> That's right. Rene Abattoir Blues and the Lyra of Orpheus. I didn't listen to anything that Odo had to tell me, so I need to I need to reinitiate that. There's hold nothing on, important. Hold on, hold on. Smooch him. I'm gonna kiss Odo. Ah, all right. I think he said that there's crime afoot. And he said there was someone Bashir was uh, examining. Okay, so let's go find Bashir. Oh, there he is. I mean, this is kind of like an adventure game. A really crappy one. Okay, thanks, Bashir. But that doesn't tell me anything about where I need to go or what I need to do. Also, what, go back to Bashir. Okay. Bashir, he looks like Polly D from Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> I mean, there's like an insane <laughs> delay on this. Like, way more than usual. I'm gonna refresh. Okay. Like, there's probably about 15 seconds delay for me this time. Alright, she wasn't robbed or hurt. Thanks, Polly D. I'm just, uh, okay. I have no idea where to go. I, get, I figured Odo yeah, tells me to go talk game. to Bashir, but then Bashir's just like, yeah, patient's fine. Hey, did you see where, oh, yeah, okay, all the Cardassians are gone, so. Could go into Quarks. One minute they were here, the next they were gone. Thanks, Jake. You're useless to me. Why is Jake hanging out right outside Quarks, anyway? Uh, yeah, well, you know, at that age try to <laughs> score some boobs see some boobs start to work maybe he knows where the Cardassians went oh god sideways quirk yeah. <laughs> just like seeing a Simpsons character like head ET. on you should not see a sideways quirk well, and I want to see a sideways quirk again ah, won't well, let me talk to him okay you can't play Dabo. This game yeah. sucks. Yeah. Probably can't even play Tonga. <gasps> Morn! <gasps> <laughs> Cisco looking right to the camera as Morn drinks. <laughs> I mean, that's the most accurate like, character sprite so far. Yes. This is a little fucked up, though. They should let you talk to Morn. Like, it should pop up a dialogue yeah. box that has nothing in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, I just like that Morn's up there. <laughs> okay, nothing up here either. Okay, so Cardassians are gone, everybody ran out of Quirk's bar. So okay, outer ring maybe? No, it's not letting me go out there. Uh maybe the Klingon scene something new? Nope. I think you probably have to go back to the bridge. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's just go back to the bridge. I wonder what this is, though. Looks like a door, but well, let me go through. It doesn't say what it is like the or other doors talk, do. Or you could go to Odo's office, maybe. Update him on something, I don't know. Oh, yeah. All right, let's try that out. Like, while you're here, anyway. This is faster. <laughs> this is going just running around the station like this. It's like Link rolling. That, that, 
that. Okay, Odo has nothing new for me. I got nothing new for Odo. All right. I mean, this is useful because I might not have to talk to Jake and just jump over him. <laughs> Cisco just like making a beeline for his son and jumping over his head to avoid talking to him. Okay. Yes, Max, that's the sound Link makes when he comes. Good one. Alright, she won't talk to me. Dax this goes office. isn't talking to me. Yeah, this goes off his... He's got the uh, holder for his baseball, but they didn't bother to make a baseball for it. That's weird. Yeah. All right, nothing to do in here either. Uh, can I go down go down these steps now? A non-turbo lift would be the stairs, Max. Yeah. Uh, O'Brien is gone. I was going to ask him if he might oh. have seen any Cardassians, but... Oh, no. What? O'Brien's gone. Something's afoot. We're, We're going to maybe... find O'Brien, like, dismembered. I think that's the trigger, though. Because from what I remember, like, he has you, like, a system with engineering or something. And mm. that's when you get to the part that I could not figure out how to proceed in. Okay, let me check back upstairs, see if anything's changed up here. Max, I'm going to ban you from chat. Is Mask asking dumb Star Trek questions? No, just I have the a, technical manual. Like, how's how's that a lift? Because they're not lifting you. Well, you like your foot is the lift. Yeah. I have the technical manuals. Ask me anything about Star Trek. I'm an <laughs> All expert. Right. How do turbo lifts work? Like, are they are they any different than just an elevator? They are. Faster? They they can go in multiple directions. All right. Yeah. And then turbo, la turbo lift shafts are actually pretty spacey, too, so they don't, like, actually go too flush with the walls. But you can okay. just climb around in there while turbo lifts are going around. What, what, Larry, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> when I played this, I wandered around a while until I got to a puzzle and then quit after, like, ten minutes of trying to figure out what to do. Well, I did say this would be a short stream. Uh, can you pull open a guide? That is what you are here to do, all right. after all. Well, I was not informed of that. Just tell me where Miles O'Brien is. All right, Deep Space Nine. Max, he's, the time. This is he's distracted. You can make a comment. Can I guess go back to the bridge? Oh, this says a uh, roll call for all the characters, including Morn. Oh, Very tell useful. me what it says about Morn. I need to know that oh. before we continue. Uh, sure a friend of Quark went. and a suspected mercenary. Very little is known about this mysterious alien. Often seen in Quark's promenade casino, Morn is quite fond of gambling. Spotted exchanging laser weapons with Quark, Morn's loyalties are questionable at best. Ooh. Oh. Ah. I mean, this is this also probably would have been pretty early when the show started. So maybe at the time they didn't actually know what Morn's deal was. Maybe. I mean, Morn just kind of sat around. It was, They didn't get more and more to do until, like, uh, season four or five with that episode where he faked his own yeah. death. I talked to Dex to find out about some mysterious anti-proton emissions in Lower Pylon 3. Okay. The fuck did Dax go? I think she was back on the bridge now. Yeah. Or command it center says, on the um, bridge. There, there she is. Okay. Anti-proton emissions, lower pile on three. I'm going to send Chief O'Brien down to check it out. He's All right, here we go. Security grid. I'll do it. On a five track with this. To the emissions. All right. Lower pylon. Three, so I guess that probably the uh, those doors that were locked before. Doors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And back there, when you're ready to dive into the game's first linear level.
Oh, this is, um, okay. I gotta stand, like, right in the middle of this? Hold down A to add to B, lift. That doesn't feel good. That, like, took a while huh? of holding down A. Oh, okay, I see. I have to hold A plus button. Yeah. Oh, what does that say? Hold on. Press up to activate control. Okay. Okay. So I guess this is like a checkpoint, the uh, transporter. Like I would assume that if I die, I can just like warp back to one of these that I've activated. Oh. Okay. Am I stuck down here? <laughs> See, this is where I got to, <laughs> then I was like, uh... Did, was I not supposed to, like, despawn this elevator? You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> um, Max is asking me if I've played Back for Blood. I have not, uh, I've had some weird shit going on with my computer, and I'm afraid to run anything that's going to put it, like, even moderately under load. Uh, basically my screen's been going black and I'll get an audio loop and I have to hard reset and it did that on the old computer and it corrupted a hard drive and so now I'm kind of freaked out about it. Uh, I did a system restore and it hasn't done it since then so maybe it's fine, but... Okay, so, choose try, try oh, trans wait. transport. Choose platform. I, I did something. Yeah. Alright, hold on, let me back out and go back in. Uh, they were already running pretty high, Max, because I was in a game. Um, it, the air coming out of the case did feel pretty hot, but I don't necessarily think it was overheating. Because, um, like, the next day, it was just for a second flickering black on my desktop a couple of times, and that's when I did a system restore point to right before I had installed some stuff, and now it's been stable. How does it let me choose the different... <laughs> I'm able to transport. It did it Trying one time, and then I hit a button, and it... Yeah. I materialize. Platform materialized, okay. Unable to transport. So that just, right, like, that just I returns I think the idea this. is... Yeah. See, again, this this is where I got it was like, I can figure out, I think the idea is to get the platform over to the right. Yeah. So then you can move up, but I don't know how you're supposed to actually get it to the right. Because when you go over there, though, Cisco says something like, it's broken, I'll have to climb, but I don't know how you're supposed to climb up there. Well, the weird thing is I had it appear in the uh, like upper right corner, and I'm not sure what yeah. button I hit to do that. So I'm, I'm selecting everything. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> yeah, it happened on my... I'm glad it's not just me, by the no, way. No, it's not just you. Like, I thought maybe I was just really stupid about this, and that now I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, good. Platform, okay. So if it's... See, the weird thing is, too, so I have reserve two, right? So I materialize yeah. one, I'm using one platform. So theoretically, yeah. I can materialize another platform, but it's not letting me do that. Yeah, you'd think. Do I have to do, like, a oh, combination um, of get, get Get on it, move it up, and then try materializing another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me... God damn it. Let me try that. Okay. That did materialize the second one, but right under it. Yeah. Which I don't think is going to help. No, not really. What? What if... Okay. Can I transport it now? No. Oh! Move the one above to the left and then try transport. Okay. 
there's like a slightly lighter green shade there that maybe that means that's where you can transport okay okay it's blinking all right you had the one thing blinking when you were over transport yeah now it's not letting me transport that was just to get it back down oh i think Well, this game is great. Let me look at the guy here <laughs> so you can at least get a little bit. Yeah, um, that'd, that'd be nice. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold it A to activate lift. It was giving me options when I was on it. Yeah, I saw it said one or two. Oh, God. It appears for like a second, and then I hit the button because it... Oh, God. Oh, I think that was your inventory. Oh. Does it said no. like item one or two? It's not, uh... Hmm. Oh. Well, you've got your tricorder equipped. Okay. Let's see. Lower Pylon 3 is a series of platforming sections in which you'll be required to make precise jumps, shoot enemies and jamming devices using your phaser, okay, and disarm and then eject, disarm and eject a bunch of grenades planted by unscrupulous Bajoran terrorists. These sections are also timed, <sighs> so your expedience will be of the essence. Boy! Oh, jump and tap up while in mid-air to grab ledges. That's how you climb up on the right. Oh, hey, guess this what? So this bad. lift isn't working. Looks like I'll have to climb, says Cisco. Yeah, that's what I said. But I could not figure out how to climb. You have to tap up in midair to climb up. Why would it... Oh, there we go. And the platform is it... so good. Oh, no! <laughs> Terrorist. <laughs> gotta watch out. No, it's a Ferengi! Is Rom just punching me in the fucking schnoz? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Right, we you get him this time. A weapon. I'm gonna get him this time. Or you can just punch him, maybe. God damn it! <laughs> Well, I gotta like, I gotta put my fists up first. I need to equip my fists, and then I can punch him. But he keeps closing that distance by the time I, I get him up. All right, there we this go. This is my favorite episode. I got of him. The show. That still doesn't look like a Bajoran to me. That does not read as a Bajoran. Put it into the nearest ejection tube. Okay. Um. Okay, or just run away from it. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to. Okay, emergency ejection. All right. <laughs> when she said put it into the nearest ejection tube, she meant that, not run and jump off a nearby ledge. Grenade is armed, I have to dispose of it quickly. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so I guess the timer doesn't start till you actually pick it up, which. That's good. Makes sense. Oh, I think I was supposed to... There's railing up there. I didn't really notice until it was already falling down. What? This. Oh. Yeah. Perform gym it. I was thinking of uh, Robocop vs. Terminator. Sure. Oh, God damn it. So you can't move while your fists are equipped? <laughs> Jesus, no. There we go. I had to get just, like, within a pixel of him. All oh, right, You gotta, like, hold down a while to pick that oh. up. Uh, if you go to where that, um, that computer was... Yeah. Uh, where the engineer's knocked out, press down and you'll pick up his phaser. I'm not going all the way back there. <laughs> I'm need not... a phaser. I'm not You're going to have to do a Don't you want to shoot some guys? Shoot some Bajorans? I want to shoot myself. 
fine. We'll go get the a phaser. We'll go. No body. We'll go get a phaser. I'm just going to sit in the cargo hold like Miles O'Brien and wait for you to show up and stop me from shooting myself with a phaser. Um, I think that I was supposed to do uh, that while his body was here. I think now that it's gone, I'm not able to. Alright, that's that's fine. I got my fist, that's all excellent. I need. <laughs> Me and my mitts. <laughs> I'll just break character and start talking to him in riddles. Like Avery, Bro Avery Brooks and confound them enough and then I can punch them. I like how you're taking fall damage every time you jump off there. Yeah, well, whatever. Hash is jammed, I'll have to... Fa oh! I'll have to phaser through it, Larry! <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> no, it's fine, I got my fist. <laughs> this fucking video game. Love that dude just standing there with his arms crossed watching yeah. Cisco punch at it. <laughs> Alright, got some rations. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, I can. You must have picked up the phaser. They wouldn't just have that guy despawn, <sighs> right? You know what game you're asking this of? <laughs> Alright, I got a tricorder. Fist, tricorder, fist, tricorder, fist, fist, tricorder, fist, no phaser. Well, well, mm. It's gotta be down there. There's gotta be some way to pick it up, and I'm just totally missing it. It doesn't say, like, specifically hit this button. No. Oh, I can see, like, the, uh, the phaser icon, and... Looks like an oh, wait, 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 for wait. some reason. And wait, I... Is that it? This tiny little thing? Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's it. Alright. <laughs> Put this phaser in my butt. <laughs> now I got it. <laughs> this little three-pixel thing, that's the phaser. How could I oh, not notice boy. it there? <laughs> this is an adventure game, it turns out. Yeah. Sierra adventure game. Oh, no, it's one of the bad ones. I should not yep. grab that just yet. Alright. Equip phaser. I mean, the tube was right up there. You have the platform. Yeah! Fucked him up. Shot him in the face. That was pretty good. Imagine if you had that before. Eliminate the Benjamin Hurry. Okay, I know that there's a grenade right there. Is there a closer, like, disposal thing, or do I gotta take it all the way back up here? Yes. Not okay. far. That's why I have to lift. Yeah. Alright. I mean, really, even without the lift, with 20 seconds, you could get up there. Oh good, there's another section. Power cells of the blitrium grenades leak anti-protons. Use the tricorder to find them. Uh, okay. Pass for his nudgip. Nunich. I don't know how to say that. Yvonne at Nunich. <laughs> Klingon. Uh -huh. I'm scanning enough missions for five days. Okay. Alright. Hey Larry, what do you think of Elevator Action? That was a great game. Elevator Action Returns especially. What if I was playing Elevator Action instead of this shit? You'd be having a much better time. Probably, yeah. Okay, well, I'm seeing a bunch of these, but I'm not seeing any grenades yet. You don't have your trike recorder. Uh, oh god, thing damn equipped. it, right. They look the same to me in that menu. See, isn't it weird though that the phaser just looks like an ocarina? Yeah. Why does it look like that? They never look like that in the show. I'm gonna play the uh, Song of Storms. Also, see, that is your inventory. I told you. And you were like, no! 
10 item 2 3, but how do I get back to the tricorder? Okay, that's phaser. That's my hands. It was so I good that the Genesis only had three <laughs> I got buttons. 14 minutes to figure this out. There we go. Alright. This is a game about um, action and elevators. Yeah. It was horrifically violent. Returns is. Yeah. All right, hope you know where a tube is. I do. I just gotta get perfectly aligned with it. Yeah. There we go. I wonder what happened to the delay this time. It's way worse. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Boy, having that being assigned the same button is a pain in the ass because I'm not like perfectly aligned with that thing. It just pops my menu up. God, they're... Jesus. <laughs> Interacting with things in this game is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Wants you to be you very precise. So I'm going to have to activate another one of these, I have a feeling. Yeah. Larry, I beat Shin Megami Tensei and System Shock. I can't let the DS9 game beat me. Uh, this game came out in 1995, by the way. Oh, that's way too late. Yeah. Uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly gave it a 7 out of 10. Next Generation Magazine gave the SNES version 2 out of 5, and the Genesis oh, wow. version 1 out of 5. Oh no. Okay, well there's another grenade oh, right, right yeah. here, and then... Okay, it's on the other side. You want to hear a quote from the Genesis version review from Next Generation? Of course I do. They stated that this game is boring and will only be of minor interest to Deep Space Nine freaks. And you know what? They're right. <laughs> this, this is of minor interest to both of us. And I am a freak. Of the DS9 variety. Ah, fuck. It's like, like early. It started with, with me watching DS9, and you were like, "What are you doing watching Star Trek? What's wrong with you?" And now you're here watching every episode of the Next Generation. That's right, and playing a DS9 video game that everyone and knows to be watching documentaries. Terrible. Watching documentaries with William Shatner. That's right. Oh God, I don't like that map. That is way too much shit. Oh no. Okay, where did it materialize? Uh, I don't no. see it. Uh, lower right, all the way to the lower right. Okay, I see well, it. All right. Okay, it transport. Works. I transport that anywhere. Oh, and the There's map scrolls. more oh, map. No. <laughs> Look at all this shit. Like the the third quadrant of this map. What the fuck? It's a delta quadrant. <laughs> Larry, this has been the DS9 game for the sake of Genesis. I'm done playing it. I took one look at this map and decided this stream is over. Deep Space Nine Crossroads of Time. Be specific. Sure, you know, you gotta differentiate we'll it from all the other DS9 someday. games. I should yeah. play the adventure game with Q in it, the FMV game. Because mm -hmm. that is similarly obtuse. Yeah. Isn't that on, like, the Sega CD? At least CD? with that, you get John Delancey talking at you. I think so. I do. I do like John Delancey. Okay. I've had enough of this. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye.